welcome back. The annual DD Kosambi Festival of Ideas is set to commence on 7th of February. The Directorate of Art and Culture is organizing the festival for the fifth year now. Prominent personalities like Medha Patkar, Puma Das Gupta, Shekhar Singh, Professor Muhammad Yunus, and Syed Nakwi will be delivering their lectures at the festival. Five eminent speakers from various fields will be delivering lectures at the fifth edition of the DD Kosambi Festival of Ideas. Eminent author Uma Das Gupta, social activist and environmentalist Medha Patkar, founder member of National Campaign for People's Right to Information Shekhar Singh, senior journalist Saeed Nakwi, and Nobel laureate and chairman of Gramin Bank in Bangladesh, Professor Muhammad Yunus will be speaking at the festival. The festival will begin on 7th of February and it will go on till 11th February. Bureau report, Prudent Media. Aldona MLA Dayanand Narvikar is pressing hard for a Porvori seat of a Congress candidate. He says that if the Porvori ticket is given to the NCP, then he will not support the candidate. He is annoyed with the NCP's claim on the constituency. I can see any congressman winning the seat for Indian National Congress. This seat has to come to Indian National Congress. And it is my strong feeling that we should get this seat and we can win the seat. It is my wish. I don't like the candidate, I don't support it. Even otherwise. And tomorrow I may not be like it. Narvikar says he is shocked with NCP's proposal. Mr. Ben, I was surprised that four days back, Mrs. Bharati Tawan, who is supposed to be a member of NCP, she called one of the candidates of INC, who has filled a form, and offered him NCP ticket. I can also quote the name of the candidate, Dr. Ravi Chodhani, who was called. A reporter from Porvari, Shamsundar Fatte. Some of the miscreants set a blaze of forest area at Dhapto, Raya and Madgaon. Around 7,600 square meters of green cover was lost. Members of Zagrut Raikaranso Awaz and forest officials inspected the site on Monday. Forest department will now investigate the case. Have a look at this hill at Dhapto, Raya in Margao. Some unknown person set ablaze the hill full of vegetation. The area is around 7,600 square meters. Approximately 1,000 trees were burnt. The area belongs to Valmiki Falero. This incident occurred on Saturday. It is only after some of the members of Jagrut Raikaran Sahavas noticed it that they complained to the forest department. The area is around 76,000 square meters and occupant as a Valmiki Falero. So we do not know whether it is he who has done it or he has employed someone or it is a crime of uh, the worst nature where the person who has done it has no heart because he has killed the trees alive and, and burnt, uh, burnt it. Uh, it is like a murder of the uh, Nature. of the flora and avifauna. In this range exists a lot of uh, uh, reptiles, uh, mongoose, asa, foxes. Aha. Leopards, there's yeah. leopard also. There's, uh, leopard also has been peacocks. cited in this. There are peacocks. Forest officials are now investigating the case. They will register an offence in this matter. Inquiry kele the court and kitche na kahe legal permission gyeonga na. Mujhe further, ami yeh karunge lenga. Ham chhe kitche procedure aata ami karta le. Further, sagle. प्रोसीजर किती आहे प्रोसीजर म्हणजे आमचा 95 आम्ही ऑफेंस बुक करतात आणि सगळे लिस्टिंग करून मागी साइट 95 करतात किती झाले एक्झॅक्ट अ रिपोर्टर फ्रॉम मारगाव समीर बट एसजीपीडीए ऑफिशियल्स हैव रिटन टू द हाई कोर्ट दैट ऑल नेसेसरी प्रिकॉशन एंड सेफ्टी मेजर्स आर टेकन टू मेंटेन हाइजीन इन द मार्केट वाइल रिप्लाइंग टू अ पीआईएल बट इन रियलिटी नथिंग हैज बीन डन अ प्रूडेंट मीडिया एक्सक्लूसिव while replying to a PIL regarding hygiene of SGPDA market, an affidavit is filed by the SGPDA member secretary, Rajesh Naik. It states that Sulab International Social Welfare Organization has commissioned the effluent treatment plant getting rid of the wastewater. With the installation of the effluent treatment plant, all the dirt and waste, both dry and wet, are disposed of in the ground and not in the surrounding area. Raw waste is pumped to the circular tank and treated. 
it is purified and discharged into the ground for absorption and irrigation. But in reality, when Prudent Media visited the wholesale market, it was found that effluent treatment plant tank was open. Despite the said commissioning of the plant, wastewater was released in the paddy fields. The market is still stinking. The drains are choked with the stagnant fish water and waste fish. Moreover, two children were seen cleaning the market. The next hearing in this case has been scheduled on Tuesday. Our reporter from Mudgaon, Savio Dais. Food and Drugs Administration seized Gutka worth around 3 lakh rupees on Monday at Taligaon. Police have arrested the driver who was transporting the stuff. Sources say that Gutka was brought in the state from Kolapur. Gutka worth around 3 lakh rupees was seized by FDA at Taligaon on Monday afternoon. The vehicle was moving in and around in Panji distributing Gutka. FDA has decided to take strict action against the Gutka distribution in the state. Tobacco related food articles is banned in the state of Goa and hence such distribution cannot be allowed. On the tip provided by the commercial tax department squad and uh, my department, we have booked the said driver along with the vehicle and the stock as well as the vehicle is seized. And we are also looking to feasibility of filing an FIR against the driver in the Panjim police station so that he can be arrested so that his presence in the court is secured when the legal process continues. A senior reporter from Panji Rakesh Kanolkar with video journalist Ravindra Dalvi. Time now for another short break, but news from sports when we come back. Stay tuned.